All right, I've got my my little bouncy ball in there, and this uh, going to be my one-way valve, ball valve, and so measuring from the top of the ball to the top of this is a half inch, so I want to do about a quarter inch down, make a mark in there, and make a mark here, quarter inch down, so I'm going to drive my nail through. So what I need now is glass grips, a nail, and a lighter. Put the nail in the vice grips. And let me turn this a little bit so I can have better access. Okay, this is going to be my retainer. So I'm going to heat this up for a few seconds. Get it hot enough to punch all the way through both sides. Usually the flame is right before they start turning yellow, that's where it's the hottest. I hold it about the middle of the yellow. And then stick it in there. Okay. And squeeze all of that. So it's flush. There we go. Melted a little bit there, so I can trim that off. Now the other side, take the uh, hacksaw, ice grits off of it, try to cut that off flush. Okay. Hey, nice and flush. So, got my ball valve in there is retained so that when the pressure is coming from this way it opens up when the pressure goes back that way falls down in there and closes up makes a nice seal okay I just want to put a little Teflon tape on here just to uh, make sure I get a good seal get the dirt and dust off a little bit so uh, you want to go same way the threads are going that way you can pull them kind of tight and they don't back off on you. Just kind of put one around there. Go back right down. That's probably good enough. Pull that tight and we're ready to install that and then thread it in. So I have a slip joint here. This is going to be threaded in here. So I'm going to back this off. Tight, I'll be breaking it. Then you just put your pipe wrench on here. Turn it around a few rounds. See, you feel like it's pretty good. Uh, that's probably. There we go, right there. Okay. That's a one-way valve, ready to go. <sighs> Works good. On to the next one. Got the next one here ready to go. Got the retainer in there. The retainer nail. Put my uh, Teflon tape on there. Seems awful dusty in here. Good shot. Go all the way to the thread tips and all the way down. Really good and sealed. Okay. Light branch. Ten pounds of torque on there, not too much. You don't want to break the PVC, and it will break. 
or you just guard up or something. So that's a good one. Air passes through that way. Doesn't go through that way. So we're good to go. All right, I want to put a marking on here so that I know that I'm getting close to it, pulling this thing out. So I don't want to pull it past this mark right here. Matter of fact, I might just make another mark. So a secondary mark. Here's the first, the uh, main mark. And come back down about an inch and make another mark. So when I see this, when I'm using the pump, I know that I'm in danger of pulling the thing out. And the good thing is that you can pull it out. So if you ever had to repair the O-rings or oil them up again, you can actually... Uh, See, that works pretty smooth. And you can't go too far that way because it stops here. And if you can see in here, there's the top of the top of the uh, ramrod. All right, it's time to do some more gluing. So, primer first. And so what I'm gonna do is put this one in this way. Put the primer on the outside. I'm not good. And then I'll put this one on this side. I'm not good. Also, this area should take a little bit longer. The bigger pieces. Okay. These are already the T handles or T slip T's already uh, primer. So now we got some glue. So put some glue in here, and let's see, I want to go this way, so glue in this way, glue, cover it with glue good. Okay, so my pump is going to operate in this fashion. Close this up. Oops. I caught that. Okay, um, it's going to suck in this way. When you pull up, and then when you push out, it's going to blow out this way. So eventually, I can retrofit a hose or another pipe make it as long as I like same way here and uh, I can repair these valves if I need to like if the ball goes bad I can take this off or take this one off and uh, that way I can do some repairs so looks good and so give it a few minutes to dry and we'll go give her a test <laughs> <laughs> 